Want your children to eat better? Turn them into young chefs. Rachel Kay with BodyChecklist.com is cooking up a healthy snack. So one way to get your son or daughter eating healthy is to actually have them join you in the kitchen, which is why we're in a kitchen here with Mia and Amanda with Produce for Kids. So what are we gonna make today? Today we're gonna be making the fruity pita sandwich. Well, let's get started. So what are we doing first? Almond nut butter. So would you say almond butter is a little bit better than peanut butter for the kids? or? It is, it's a, a little healthier. Um, it can be a little bit more expensive. What if you just changed the name and told them that almond butter was peanut butter? You can do that. Um, there's a lot of things, um, as much as I don't want to say you want to trick your children into eating certain things, you can create up, create fun names for certain things. Okay, so what else do we put on here? The apples. Apples, all right, you put them on. This is making me hungry, I don't know about you. I'm gonna take a bite of it. Definitely. All right, so then put the kiwi on, yeah? Why does having the kids in the kitchen help them want to eat the food more? It um, introduces them to food on another level where they're actually touching and feeling it and not mm -hmm. just eating it. And it also gives them um, a sense of ownership in a way because they're creating something. So it really means a lot to have people eating something they created and eating that themselves. And do you like to eat the food you make, Mia? Yes. Everybody loves pizza, so you can cut it in the pizza triangles, and here's our finished product. If you want some more recipes on the ideal meals for kids, we've got you linked, of course, at bodychecklist.com.